Did you buy Ubiquiti's new Dream Machine Pro and now you're wondering how do I get all my devices from my old controller to the new? Here's one strategy for that. So the big challenge with the Dream Machine and Dream Machine Pro is neither one of them supports the sights. So, so normally if you're moving from one Ubiquiti controller to another, you would just go in here and you would say, okay, I'm gonna uh, select the settings, I'm gonna go to site, I'm gonna scroll down and hit export site. It's right right below my, my little picture right here. Hit export site and it actually walks you through. It'll, it'll download the configuration file. You can then import that into the other controller and then this, this little wizard informs all the devices to go jump to the new controller. It's pretty slick. But the challenge is, so take a look at this. If I, if I click on here, this, if, if I had a real Ubiquiti controller, would be where I import all of the previous settings. But if you look at the new Dream Machine, which is right here, there is no site option up here. All you've got is the account and you know if you've got you know other services that are installed right here. But, but there's no, at least what I've found, there's no import site, so you're stuck. One way that you can do this is go to your old controller, look at the devices. So these are all the devices that I have on my old controller. I've got a couple switches, a few of the uh, wireless access points. These guys have already been unplugged. But right here is the IP address of them. Take a little screen cap of that. Make sure you've got, you've got that list, right? Then go to the settings. Make sure that you've enabled SSH for all those devices. Give it, give it a username and password. I have admin and then my password uh, that I would type in for, for all of those. Then on Windows or Mac, open a command prompt. Uh, well, Mac it would be terminal, Windows, open a command prompt. Make sure you have SSH enabled or download an application called Putty and watch what you do here. I'll take one of these devices, this behind TV Nano 192.168.1.19. Go to a command prompt, type in SSH, admin at 192.168.1.19. Type in my super secret password right there. And this is the operating system of the wireless access point. It's Ubiquiti's very basic one. What we're going to be after is this set inform command, right? All you have to do is type in set inform then HTTP, and they actually give you the sample syntax right here. HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 192.168.1.1, uh, .1, I think. That's, that's my new dream machine right there, right? Then you want to make sure you get this included. Colon 8080 forward slash inform. I'll just copy and paste that right there. That's the line that you want to make sure that you, you get that, that WAP now jumping to the new location. Now, unfortunately, you're going to have to reconfigure it because, again, we can't export the site. Now that... I've done that, I can go over to my, my dream machine right here, click on devices, and I should see, oh, it's not there, hang on. I'll hit the up arrow, do it again. I'm ready, please inform me. Sometimes you just gotta do this a lot. There we go, I hit refresh, and now I've got a couple of them showing up. But look, look at what happens, when I click on it, it comes up and it actually says, this is managed by other. See how it's nice and grayed out right there? Managed by other. This little plus sign will adopt it regardless. It will then say, okay, here's the IP address. Type in your username and password. And I'll type in the password. This is the one that you set up for the SSH credentials, right? You don't have to type in anything for the port. Click adopt. It's now going over to that wireless access point and adopting it and sucking it into the configuration. We go right there. It's changed over from adopting to provisioning. And we're just waiting until it says connected. And now, since unfortunately we couldn't import the site, we have to go and reconfigure our SSIDs and assign the groups. I mean, essentially all the configuration from the old controller, you have to replicate, which for a home network, hopefully is not too much, but this should at least get you started with doing this without running around all the devices, which could be on ceilings and hitting that reset button to try and start them fresh. I'm sure Ubiquiti is going to come up with a better way of doing this, like adding import site as one of the other options in the settings. But for now, this will get you started simply without running around with the paperclip hitting the reset button on all your devices. It's that simple. <laughs>